Hey guys, this is John Watts, Consumer Protection Lawyer. I wanted to give you just a quick follow-up video to our last one where we described the three types of dispute letters you can send to a debt collector. There's just the normal dispute letter, there's a request for information, there's a refusal to pay. Let's talk for just a moment about the dispute letter. So what's the advantage of that? Well, maybe there's a couple of advantages. One, it takes away the argument from that debt collector where they can say if there's ever litigation, ever a lawsuit between you and the collector, where they say to a judge, well, the consumer never disputed this. They admit that they owe it. Now, that's not what the law says, but they love to make this argument. They think they're so clever when they do this, where they go, well, I never disputed it. So you take away that argument because you say, actually, judge, I did dispute this. Here's a copy of my letter. But the second thing is really more to do with credit reporting. So when that debt collector gets your dispute letter and then after that they update your credit report and they do not show it as consumer disputes or disputed by consumer, words to that effect, then they violate section 1692E8. So section 1692, and that's 15 USC section 1692, that's the FDCPA. And then the section that's E, 1692E, is all about lying and deception and misrepresentation. Well, what is 1692E8? Well, that's an example of this. And that is where a debt collector provides false information to a credit bureau. And then it gives us another example. And that is if the debt collector knows that the debt is disputed or they should know it's disputed and they don't tell the credit bureau that, well, now they violate the FDCPA. So when we send that dispute letter, and again, that's one of three types of letters. We send that dispute letter and that debt collector gets it. Well, they can never say, well, you didn't dispute it because you did dispute it. And if they ever tell the credit bureaus that you owe on this debt, that they have an account on you or what's called a trade line on you, well, then they better mark it as disputed. And if they don't, then you can sue under the FDCPA. So what do we get if we sue? Well, we can get up to $1,000 of what are called statutory damages. You don't have to prove that you were harmed to get these types of damages. Now, a lot of lawyers, I'm not exactly sure why, but a lot of lawyers just say, and that's it. That's all you can get. I mean, they'll have on their websites. They even have this under the FCRA, Fair Credit Reporting Act. They say, all you can ever get is $1,000. We get everything else. That's not true. Okay. That's one part of your damages. A second part of your damages are what are called actual damages or compensatory damages. And these are damages you've actually suffered, or these are damages to compensate you. In other words, this is where you were before you started dealing with this debt collector who broke the law. After they broke the law, you go down to here. Well, to compensate is whatever money it takes to get you back to this point. That could be economic damages. They put some bogus thing on your credit report. I mean, the classic example is, you know, we're talking about Charter, Spectrum, AT&T, Sprint, all these type of guys for cell phones and uh, cable and all this stuff. And they, they say, oh, we found this little charger. You didn't return the equipment when you really did. And so, boom, there's a $200 account goes on your credit report right before you buy a house. And now you, your score goes down and your interest rate goes up. That would be economic damages. Maybe you lose a security clearance and now you lose your job. Economic damages. More commonly, it's emotional distress damages, mental anguish damages. In other words, how dare this debt collector put something false on my credit report? How dare this debt collector do this to me? Okay, And particularly when you tell them, hey, I dispute this debt, and they kind of look around and they go, we don't care. We're going to leave this on your credit report where it will damage your credit score. And we're going to lie to the credit bureaus and tell them it's not disputed when it really is. Well, that's very upsetting to be treated that way. So here's where you were. They violate the law. You're down here. How much does it take to get back? Is it $1,000? Is it $5,000? Is it $10,000? What, what is it? Well, every case is different. Ultimately, a jury decides that. But the point is, you can get up to $1,000 statutory damages. You can get whatever your actual damages are that you and your lawyer can prove. And then you get some other benefits. 
the debt collector is not supposed to contact you anymore. Now, sometimes they do, even after we sue them. Guess what? It's another violation. It's more mental language because, again, it's like, okay, I caught you, I sued you, and now you're going to break the law again on me? I mean, come on. What's going on here? That's very upsetting. And so all sorts of benefits, and those all flow from that dispute letter. And again, remember, there's three types of dispute letters. But you send that dispute letter and they update your credit report and don't mark it as disputed, then you look at suing under Section 1692E8 and you're looking for statutory damages. And if you can prove them, actual damages. And then, of course, your attorney's fees are paid by the bad guys. The costs of litigation are paid. All that is taken care of. And you can focus in on hey, let me get the damages I'm entitled to. So hope that that's helpful to you. Remember, guys, on Thursday at 11 uh, Central Time, we'll have a webinar where we go into this in great detail. It's totally free. There's no charge for it. You can register for it. It's disputemasterclass.com, but I'll also put the direct link in the description and a comment. And if you know you can't make it, I do recommend you be there live. But if you can't be there live, you will get sort of an automated email that will come back to you that will say, Here's the replay link. So hope to see you then and you guys take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.